So just kind of a random video, it's totally unscripted here, but um, we have the Sony a6500. I'm not sure how I feel about shooting S-Log in here. I feel it has more noise than an a7S II, so um, you know, you kind of want to shoot with information in your file rather than trying to add that information later, like boosting saturation or adding contrast or lifting your exposure. Um, you kind of want to get it good right out of the camera as best as you can because it doesn't hold up 100% when you start messing with it in post. But anyways, um, so I'm shooting around with this. I'm mainly sticking around profile 3 and 4 right now, uh, right out of the camera. That's kind of like your natural and faithful profiles. Uh, so I've been sticking with that, just kind of testing it out. And I'll have some samples actually in this video of this kind of setup right here, shooting with it and just seeing what kind of results I can get. Anyways, uh, obviously this camera doesn't have an ND filter. What we have here is Photo Deox's ND throttle. Now I've used this on the A7S II as well. And what it does is it adapts Canon EF lenses to Sony bodies. And inside of the lens is an ND filter. I'll show it to you. It's, a, it's actually a variable ND filter. So in here, and we would turn this dial here and then the density of the ND filter gets stronger. Um, so we can adjust our exposure here without having to mess with too much of the aperture on the lens or even uh, ISO or shutter speed, you can kind of block a lot of light with this adapter. So really cool, but I'm sure people want to see like, does this adapter, because it has its own glass in here, does it create a lot of softness? Do you lose any, you know, uh, sharpness and um, color cast, whatever. So I'll have some samples shooting with this exact setup here that I was playing around with outside with uh, the picture profile three and four. And if you guys aren't familiar with picture profiles on the A6500, let me show that to you very quickly. So what you want to do is you want to go into your menu and then um, you would go to page 11 basically. And here we have picture profile. You just click the middle button here and you'll see your different picture profiles. And you can choose which one you're shooting with. Now if you guys want to use S-Log, uh, the default is set to picture profile 7 here, uh, but you can change that. And the way you change it is you hit the jog dial to the right. So we're going to click to the right, and now we can see what this profile is set to. Now you can customize that if you want. So I'm using mainly like 3 and 4 right now because it's not too flat, not too contrasty, and there's gives you just enough information. So I'm playing around with that right now and see how well it holds up in post. So anyways, that's how you would... Uh, adjust your picture profiles but if we were to exit out of here we could take a quick look at our ND filter and how it exposes so if we look at some of our numbers here as we dial this ND filter without changing anything in the camera we can make the image completely dark and then we would open it back up now you'll always have some attenuation because it, the glass is tinted in here um, so it's going to, you're going to lose a little bit of light if you're using this indoors and to compensate for that, you just have to use a little bit higher ISO. Uh, but the adapter seems to work really good. And again, I'm going to show you guys some examples of this adapter and this lens on some of my tests right now.
Okay, so hopefully those tests are a little bit helpful to show you guys. Um, the adapter seems to work really good. I don't notice uh, any significant loss in sharpness or color cast or anything like that. Uh, I've been using this for a while on Sony bodies. Um, I highly recommend it. So you don't have to juggle so many different types of ND filters. And every time you change your lens, you don't have to put a new ND filter on or a different size. You just uh, remove your lens here on the adapter, put on a different lens, and again, your ND filter stays in here. And you can quickly adjust it because it's variable. So very handy to have if you guys are adapting like Canon EF glass to your Sony a6500. I'll have a link below this video if you guys are interested in these products or on the website, cheesycam.com.